Okay, so the baby's coming out. Yeah, the baby's coming out. Okay, so right now I need you to be there to hold the baby. Oh, my oh, goodness. <laughs> this is a lot. Uh, well, that is just part of a very frantic 911 call from a valley man whose wife was giving birth on the side of the Loop 202 yeah, you heard in their there. car. Yeah, the dispatcher who helped deliver that baby met the family for the <laughs> very first time. Arizona's family's Stephen Sarabia is in Mesa with this reunion. I'm imagining it's touching <laughs> a lot of emotions for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yet a lots of smiles and hugs here at this fire station as that family got to meet the people who helped them through that very hectic time, especially that voice behind the 911 call. So this is the first time dispatcher Jaden Valentine is meeting with the Emory family in person. Now, earlier this month, the Emory family was on their way to a birthing center to welcome their third child when baby Cooper, well, he decided he didn't want to wait any longer. So the family was on the 202 and called 911 to try and figure things out when Valentine calmly instructed the family to pull over and coach them through how to deliver Cooper. Oh, perfect. Okay, is that the baby crying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. baby's out? All right, perfect. You don't want to cut that cord, okay? Don't cut it. Don't cut the cord. So do you have any kind of cloth or anything we can wrap baby in? That baby cry, it's just, it's a whole nother feeling. It's just, you know that there's another life brought into this world. Today, the fire chief presented Valentine with a certificate of appreciation, and he also said that this was his first time coaching someone the entire way through a birth. And also, on top of all this, Valentine is expecting his own baby next month. M next month, excuse me. So the family, they're healthy. Baby Cooper doing very well. We'll hear more from them tonight at 9:30. And Mason Stevens Sarabia for Arizona's family. I feel like he's smiling more than the dad is. <laughs> I know he's, he's proud of himself. Just as proud. And Cooper seems like a troublemaker <laughs> right very from the cute. start. Too. Yes, for Thanks, sure. Steven. Thank you. An East Valley couple is meeting the dispatcher behind the 911 call that helped them deliver their baby on the side of the roadway. It sounds pretty rough, but they were amazing. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis joins us live with this great story. Guys, it's very rare to have a baby on the side of the road, and that's exactly how Cooper was born. We spoke with his parents who explain exactly what happened that day. Oh, Nicole Emery, Mesa mother of two, was four days overdue when she started having contractions. Quickly, Nicole and her husband, Daniel, got in the truck and headed to the hospital. We were just getting onto the 202. She was just like, you, the, he's coming. You know, you got call 911 and pull over to the side of the road because he's coming. He's here. On the side of the road, Dad Daniel jumped into action with the help from 911 dispatcher Jaden Valentine. It's definitely a surreal feeling. It's it's crazy to see that just me answering a phone call resulted in helping uh, a human life come to this world. Jaden gave Daniel step by step instructions on how to deliver his baby before paramedics could get there. He's coming out. Yeah, the baby's coming. Okay, out. so right now I need you to be there to hold the baby when the baby comes out. Adrenaline was rushing through Daniel's mind, but he uses Jaden's advice and stays calm. Uh, what do you see? And I was like, I don't know what I see, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, I don't know what this is. And he's like, um, you just got to rip the sack open. So we tore that open, and then once I, uh, once I did that, I placed him on uh, um, Nikki's stomach. Okay, if he's still in the sack, I need you to pop the sack. Cooper Emery was born May 6, weighing 7 pounds and 14 ounces. Oh, perfect. Okay, is that the baby crying? Okay, so baby's out. All right. A story that the Emery family will never forget. He, he keeps saying we should have named him Dan Jr. <laughs> because he's the one who delivered him. And I think you guys are going to have such a close bond because of that. Paramedics were able to get there a minute after Cooper was born and they took him to the hospital. Now both mom and baby are doing great. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News. What a great story. Lindsay, thank you. The baby, oh, Cooper looks great, doesn't he? Looks like a million bucks already. Uh, okay, so the baby's coming out. Yeah, the baby's coming. Okay, so right now I need you to be there to hold the baby.
Oh my. Some nerve wracking moments there. Uh, part of a 911 call uh, with the <sighs> parents, uh, soon to be parents, and a Mesa dispatcher who was coaching them through the delivery. Oh. This was right off the Loop 202 earlier this month. I know. We hear about these things and you don't actually <laughs> imagine um, being there like this poor father and mother. Uh, today, the family got to say thank you to the person who helped keep them calm during that unexpected emergency. Stephen Sarabia was in Mesa with their touching story. Oh, perfect. Okay, is that the baby crying? Yeah. Okay, the baby's out? All right, perfect. You don't want to cut that cord, okay? Don't cut it? Don't cut the cord. So do you have any kind of cloths or anything we can wrap baby in? Baby Cooper Emery gave his parents a night they not only won't forget, but will definitely be bringing it up at future family dinners and birthday parties. You know, in that moment, it's just like you don't have an option, right? So you have to just perform. Daniel and Nicole Emery were on their way to a birthing center Center on May 9th when baby Cooper decided he didn't want to wait any longer. By the second contraction, that's when she was just like, you got to pull over. They quickly called 911 to figure out what to do and pulled over off the 202. So okay. she feels the need to push and she pushes. I need you to do your best to cradle the baby out. The voice on the other line calmly coaching the parents through Cooper's birth, dispatcher Jaden Valentine. Oh, oh, the baby, it's the head. Okay, it, it's the baby's head. I need you to make sure that the cord is not wrapped around the neck, okay? When you stay calm, they like to stay calm as well, which it, we appreciate. That way we can hear you clearly. <laughs> All right, baby boy or baby girl? <laughs> baby boy. Baby boy, all right. So baby Cooper was born healthy at seven pounds, 14 ounces. So I gotta ask, any issues, Cooper? I'm hearing no complaints here. Perfect, there's a cry. Okay, just, we just wanna keep an eye on the breathing right now, okay? That baby cry, it's just, it's a whole nother feeling. It's just, you know that there's another life brought into this world. It didn't take long for first responders to arrive and take over for the parents. And on Friday, the Emery's got to meet Valentine and express just how grateful they were for keeping them calm during that frantic evening. We're just thankful that uh, we got somebody like Jaden on yeah. the phone and, and, um, and everybody that showed up was just amazing. In May, some Steven Sarabia for Arizona's family. An unexpected delivery for a Valley couple. The expectant mom had to give birth on the side of the road. Thankfully, everything went just smoothly thanks to the 911 dispatcher who was giving dad directions. And tonight, the new parents got to meet the person who helped them bring their new baby into the world. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis with that story tonight. It's very rare to have a baby on the side of the road, and that's exactly how Cooper was born. We spoke with his parents, who explain exactly what happened that day. Nicole Emery, Mesa mother of two, was four days overdue when she started having contractions. Quickly, Nicole and her husband, Daniel, got in the truck and headed to the hospital. We were just getting onto the 202. She was just like, you, the, he's coming. You know, you got... Call 911 and pull over to the side of the road because he's coming. He's here. On the side of the road, Dad Daniel jumped into action with the help from 911 dispatcher Jaden Valentine. It's definitely a surreal feeling. It's, it's crazy to see that just me answering a phone call resulted in helping uh, a human life come to this world. Jaden gave Daniel step by step instructions on how to deliver his baby before paramedics could get there. He's coming out. Yeah, the baby's coming. Okay, so right now I need you to be there to hold the baby when the baby comes out. Adrenaline was rushing through Daniel's mind, but he uses Jaden's advice and stays calm. Uh, what do you see? And I was like, I don't know what I see, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, I don't know what this is. And he's like, um, you just got to rip the sack open. So we tore that open, and then once I, uh, once I did that, I placed him on uh, um, Nikki's stomach. Okay, if he's filling the sack, I need you to pop the sack. Cooper Emery was born May 6, weighing 7 pounds and 14 ounces. Oh, perfect. Okay, is that the baby crying? Okay, the baby's out. All right. A story that the Emery family will never forget. He, he keeps saying we should have named him Dan Jr. <laughs> because he's the one who delivered him. And I think you guys are going to have such a close bond because of that. Paramedics were able to get there a minute after Cooper was born. Now mom and baby are healthy and doing great. Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News. 
a uh, group effort there, and it all worked out so well. Thanks, Lindsay. And getting the chance to meet after an unexpected delivery, a woman giving birth along a valley freeway helped along by a 911 dispatcher. ABC 15's Ashley Paredes has the backstory behind this special moment. Meeting face to face, a valley couple and the 911 dispatcher who helped deliver their baby boy, Cooper. Were you comforted that he was the person on the other end? Oh my end? gosh, Absolutely, yes. Yeah. He was yeah. so amazing. Daniel and Nicole Emery were on their way to the hospital when they realized they needed to pull over immediately because the baby was coming. Daniel calling 911 while on the side of Loop 202 and the Power Road off ramp in Mesa. He's just like, what do you see? And I was just like, I don't know what I see. Jaden Valentine from Mesa Regional Dispatch Center calming dad down and giving him instructions every step of the way. You got to catch the baby, you know, make sure that he comes out and when he does come out here, you're you're holding on to them and so get in position to do that. A six minute phone call from start to finish, ending with the delivery of a seven pound, 14 ounce healthy baby boy. Baby's out, baby's crying. I knew that he was keeping an eye on the breathing, biggest part. And then one of the last thing I remember is I could hear DPS arrive on the background, just making sure that they, that was them there and he didn't telling them, but we just had a baby on the freeway. That's the only thing Cooper's yeah. mom can remember from that night. I was just like in shock. I was, I just kept being like, I cannot believe I'm having a car baby right now. Cooper is now nearly three weeks old, the third boy in their family, and soon Jaden will become a father too, which he says he is much better prepared for. When you're there for, for the birthing of their child, it's almost like you're there with them, so it definitely, you kind of have this, this strange bond now that even if you don't see him again, you, you always remember him. Ashley Paredes, ABC 15, Arizona. Baby's going to be all right because the parents have a good sense of humor. You're right, and they have one great story to yeah. tell. Car parents, baby. <laughs> car baby, right? Uh, parents, by the way, have now nicknamed the baby, not car baby, Jaden. Uh, as for Jayden. the actual Jaden, he was recognized tonight for his efforts under pressure. Well oh, done. So awesome. Still ahead. Now to a full circle moment as we update a story that we've been following for a couple of weeks now. A valley couple getting to meet face to face with the 911 dispatcher who helped deliver their baby boy right on the side of a valley freeway. Daniel and Nicole Emery were on their way to the hospital when they realized they're going to need to pull over. Stat because the baby was coming. <laughs> Daniel calling 911 while on the side of the Loop 202 at the Power Road off-ramp in Mesa. Can you even imagine? Oh. Jaden Valentine from Mesa Regional Dispatch Center was the guy on the other end of the line helping calm dad down, giving him instructions every step of the way. And a six-minute phone call tracked from start to finish ended with the delivery of a beautiful seven-pound, 14-ounce healthy baby boy. I was just like in shock. I was, I just kept being like, I cannot believe I'm having a car baby right now. When you're there for, for the birthing of their child, it's almost like you're there with them. So it definitely, you kind of have this, this strange bond now that even if you don't see him again, you, you always remember him. I can only imagine, Mom, too. Like, you get me to the hospital. We are not pulling over right here. Cooper is now nearly three weeks old, the third boy in their family. And soon, Jaden will become a father himself, which he says he is much better prepared for, certainly after talking somebody else through it in a high-stress situation. He was recognized by his team on Friday, though, for his efforts under pressure. It's a good thing Mom wasn't a first-time mom, too. Yeah, that really she... probably helped her keep her composure somewhat even if she was having a car oh baby. i know as stressful as it was six minutes Whew. six minutes he was That's ready baby to number three yes. just <laughs> popped right on out we are just days okay so the baby's coming out yeah the baby's coming okay out. so right now i need you to be there to hold the baby Oh my goodness. Oh my Can you imagine? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. That was a very frantic 911 call from a valley man whose wife was giving birth on the side of the Loop 202 earlier this month. Talk about a traffic report, Gina. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my, I've had two, and this is not a position I'd ever want to find myself in. You know, the family is now getting to reunite with the dispatcher who helped them deliver their very own baby. The Emory family was on their way to a birthing center to welcome their third 
third child when baby decided, nah, I'm not waiting any longer. The family was on the side of the freeway, anxiously trying to figure out what to do, so they called 911. On the other side of the line was first-time dispatcher, Jaden Valentine, who guided the family through the delivery. Oh, perfect. Okay, is that the baby crying? Yeah. Okay, the baby's out? All right, perfect. You don't want to cut that cord, okay? Don't cut it? Don't cut the cord. So do you have any kind of cloth or anything we can wrap baby in? That baby cry, it's just, it's a whole nother feeling. It's just, you know that there's another life brought into this world. Okay, that's a heck of a first right. day or first week on the job. So Valentine received a certificate of appreciation and even better news, he's expecting Aww. his own baby next month. As for the Emory family, everyone is healthy and happy, including dad. Oh <laughs> my goodness. I love how he's like, don't cut the cord. Because you see in the movies, you're yeah. like, cut the cord, but don't cut it, wrap him in a blanket. <laughs> wow, such a great story. Oh, time now is 608. Okay, so the baby's coming out. Yeah, the baby's coming out. Okay, so right now I need you to be there to hold the baby. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. Uh, you heard how frantic that 911 call was. A valley man whose wife was giving birth quite literally on the side of a freeway, the Loop 202. This happened earlier this wow. month. Wow, this week the family got to meet the dispatcher who helped deliver their baby, and I just love everything about this story. There's the sweet little baby there, uh, <laughs> taking a little snooze, doing okay, completely oblivious at you know how he came in, <laughs> how he or she came into this world. So the Emory family was on the way to a birthing center to welcome their third child, so it was you know their third time around when the baby decided, hey, he did not want to wait any longer. The family was on the side of the freeway, anxiously trying to figure out what to do. They called 911. On the other side of the line was the first time dispatcher. You can see here, Jaden. That's him just shaking the hand of the family. Jaden Valentine guided the family on how to deliver the baby safely. He got a certificate of appreciation and even better news, he's expecting his own baby next nice. month because his wife or partner is in very good hands and, you know, everyone in the Emory family is happy <laughs> and healthy and they have a really great story to tell, too. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm thinking that little guy's going to grow up and be a little feisty. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Love that story so much.